Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Monday morning. Um, it's a little bit uh, dull out there. It might rain today, I think. Overcast. Uh, Matthew chapter um, 21, and we are continuing uh, at the end in verse 27. Jesus um, had presented this question to the scribes and the Pharisees, and there they're wrestling with the answer. And so they end up deciding, having concluded within themselves, they decided to answer in this way. Verse 27, and answering Jesus, they said, we do not know. And then Jesus says, he also said to them in red, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. So neither will I tell you. So Jesus is not interested in them thinking that they've got away with it. But he says to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. So they're wanting to get him to incriminate themselves. But he said, OK, I'll, I'll, I'll answer your question. I'll give you everything that you want from me. But you first ask, answer my question. And of course, they couldn't because they would didn't want to be incriminated. So he says, then neither will I answer your question. And it's OK, you know, not to answer every question. Sometimes Christians think that, you know, someone comes along and they've got some smart question that's going to prove that their faith in Jesus is not going to be, uh, as it were, sufficient to carry the argument. And so they get all twisted up. Many people don't do evangelism because they're afraid that, that they're going to get asked a question that they can't answer. But the truth is, there's probably about 10, 12 questions that uh, people ask in all different kinds of ways. The big 12 questions. Um, and, and the reality is that even if we ever got an answer to the question, it's OK. You know, we don't have to have the answers to all the questions. What we need is the security of knowing that the answers that we do have are we're securing. So, for example, we, we, we know that Jesus is God, the Son. Now, we can't prove it, but we know it. We know that because of our faith in the gospel, we are forgiven of our sins. We can't prove it. You can't demonstrate it to someone. But we know within ourselves that's true. We know that God created the world. We can't prove it, but that's OK. We don't have to. The fact is, the world is here. We don't have to prove it. Let them prove that it isn't here, which they can't. And let them give an explanation that's worth listening to that will enable us to feel secure enough that their answer is better than our answer. And they haven't got one because there isn't another answer. God created. God has given us the gospel. God has filled our lives with his spirit. The answers, brothers and sisters, are because we know that they're true. Now, we don't have to prove it to them. We just have to give an answer to the hope that is within us. Don't worry about questions you can't answer. Just say, I don't know the answer, but I know someone that does. Have a great day. Be blessed. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.